Okay, so the question we're going to look at today is one from the coast section, and it says explain the formation of a spit. So I'm going to split this into four clear sections, being as it's four marks. So firstly, a spit forms due to the process of longshore drift. So I've talked about that initial stage. Then, because of longshore drift, sediment is transported in a zigzag motion along the coastline until the coastline begins to change direction, e.g. where we're going to find a headland. So that's our first clear section there. The shallow water at the foot of the headland is going to allow the sediment to be deposited, so I'm clearly explaining there. This then causes the spit to grow in size. Over time, the spit grows inside as more deposition occurs. As the prevailing wind changes direction, the spit changes direction, and this leads to the development of a recurved edge. Then finally, because of the shallow kind of water that is located in the lagoon behind the spit, this allows the sheltered conditions to enable a salt marsh to develop because the, um, the location of it allows the waves to unaffect the area which will lead to the development of a salt marsh.